Welcome and smile. So I'm at the bus stop. There's no illumination other than the street cars and the street lights. And uh, this is one of the dangerous things that Arizona features. It is not even 8 p.m. yet, but it's dark as fuck. Right. So anybody can come up to this bus stop, do the fuck they want. Nobody would know because it's in the dark. Right. But what's done in the dark will come to the light, regardless. Right. It's only a matter of time. I say that to say this. What's been done to me in the dark, I am not ashamed of. What I will do is speak on it and reveal the truth so that others can release whatever torment or shame they feel because of whatever fuck shit they've been through that others have inflicted on them. Now, I have openly admitted that I've been fucked on the sidewalk as I slept around 4 a.m. Uh, recently and uh, I have video and biological evidence that I've been sexually abused. Now, I called the cops to be ignored. I went to the hospital. Banner denied me a rape kit with the police being there. They offered me a detective, but who knows when he's going to call me. No pictures were taken of my body, my bruises, my scratches. No blood samples were taken of what the fuck was put into my body to make me unconscious. Because when you put a dick in somebody, they're going to feel it, they're going to wake the fuck up. Right. I made a video that I uploaded at 9.52 p.m. And the video that was recorded that I uploaded that little clip with that motherfucking demon, whatever the fuck that is, was at 9.04, 9.05 p.m. that same day. If anybody knows me, I'm nocturnal. Right. I'm not low vibrational. And I don't get high on no fucking non stimulant Like, what the fuck? If you know me, you know me. Right. I'm highly electric. So, that is not my nature. Right. The police <laughs> have not given me a report number. I don't even know if they made a report. I was refused STD testing. I'm outraged. I'm disgusted. I don't know what they see me as, but if I murdered or if I murdered somebody to protect my body, this is for them for y'all to know this. I've been left to the wolves with no assistance, alliance, no, no. They offered me CBI, a placement, to go sleep in a place where people that are detoxing or mentally ill, and I've come from much turmoil and gone and passing. Why would I put myself in that environment unnecessarily? Right. Are oh, you crazy for sleeping on the curb? No, whoever's touching me and fucking me at night is crazy. Right. I'm a warrior. I trust myself. So, I say this because I never in my life went to a hospital and claimed to be assaulted to not have any studies done on me. None whatsoever. There's no record of Angela being sexually abused other than what I have physically done to me that I can show you. Right. My bloody motherfucking pants. I got needle marks in my motherfucking fingertips and nobody will fucking take a blood sample. Huh? Why not just prove me wrong? Right. Because I'm not. <laughs> they want to sweep it under the rug, make it disappear or make it like it never happened. <laughs> I'm truly disgusted with the world we're living in. But I will not be broken in spirit, mind, body, vessel. I truly am a warrior. I went to work and gave the best of me. Even with my achy, breaky heart and my body hurting me. And only God knows, right. This is not anger. This is me telling y'all the unbelievable truth that is life. Beyond the shepherds and the sheep that people believe is a healthy society. 